Hello and welcome, I'm Nafer42 and this is uh, part 2 of the Octoprint uh, setup. Here we have Octoprint. This is actually running on the i3 Mark III. I have not printed a single thing from this just yet. So what I'm going to do is I will get a test print set up. So we have Prusa over here. We're just going to go on to Thingiverse. I probably should have set this up beforehand. Okay, so now I am slightly more prepared. We are going to be printing some 3D benches. So, oh wow, there's so many of them. I forgot about this. Okay, so we're just going to get this 3D benchy.stl and we'll see how big that is. That looks, that to me looks about right. Okay, so as you can see, we have the benchy, we have the pre dry free here. We're going to want to print it. Um, we'll do, yeah, we'll do optimal. We'll lower it down to sparse so it's a bit quicker. Um, we're not using Prusa PLA, we are using uh, something else. But it's, it's just as good as Prusa PLA, so we'll go, there we go. Scene is hard to print without supports. Um, that's very interesting. I wonder why that is. It's touching deck. Oh, yeah, it's touching deck. That's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, as you can see, the bottom layer is touching deck, which is good. So you, we keep scrolling up here, and you can see that the boat is a ready file. Okay, this time we don't want to save it to the card. We want to save it to the desktop. That is the G code now saved to the desktop, uh, and it's actually over on my other screen. Um, that's perfectly fine now. So we can go to Octoprint. We're going to stick the 3D Benchy. We're going to upload locally. Oh, you can apparently upload it to the SD card. Can you do that? SD not initialized. Okay, we can't do that. Either way, the G code is here. Uh, now, this is Octoprint for the Prusa i3. I've not done any modifications. I literally just kind of turned the printer on from last time, and that's exactly why I have. I haven't set up any local uh, Cura things. I haven't lo even looked in plugins manager, but there probably is something in here for um, Prusa, I guess. Prusa, anything? No? Wow, that's, that's really surprising. Um, so there's nothing in there for Prusa? Okay, so I'm actually going to get this Octolapse thing. Um, just because it sounds really good. Octo. That is not how you do it. Octo. Oops. We will install that. I don't have um, Octoprint um, set up correctly on here to do uh, any time lapsing actually at the moment. But I will very soon, hopefully. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see how it goes. We're installing it now. Um, creating pillow. Okay, that's interesting. That's cool. So, I mean, this is all fairly straightforward. I'm, I'm sure you know how to install plugins on Octoprint. If you don't, then you can see right now, this is how it's done. Okay, now the uh, plugin is ready. It says it's done. Thank God for that. We could close. Uh, that took way too long. Where we start now? This is uh, something that you can do with the thing open. Yeah, so it's very easy. It will say server offline because it is currently offline. Okay, so while I leave that updating, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to print on Octoprint. I'll tell it to print on the printer as well and we'll come back once that has finished. Okay, welcome back. So I have now finished printing the Octoprint Boti and also the printer Boti. And I can tell you right now that both of these are exactly the same. So yeah, I mean, the test, that, that was the test. That's the test that I wanted to do to see if printing direct through the printer SD card was any different to printing through um, the uh, Raspberry Pi or the Octoprint instead. And there is, from what I can tell, absolutely no difference, which is very interesting because I thought it would have been slightly worse through Octoprint, even though I guess it is technically using the same code. Um, that doesn't always 
mean that it will be uh, a better print or, or whatever. And also, also, I guess with Octoprint there is other feet, the other things that could get in the way, like different software tweaks and whatever in the background that you used to set in the first place. So that's why I thought there could be some kind of issue with that. But it turns out, no, they both print exactly the same, um, which is great. It's really good. What we'll have next for the printer is a camera coming soon. Um, and if you can tell, but I'm not actually recording this print because I forgot to set the time lapse as default. <laughs> so the print that I did before this has the time lapse recorded. The one, this one, does not. Um, but this is for another day. This will be a print for another day. Um, probably next week, actually. Thinking about it. Um, yeah. So don't forget to subscribe. Let me think. Follow me to that's at next level two. Um, if you want to see the pictures that I've taken, um, they should be in this video, but also I might put a, a link to them on something below. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.